When was Sir Walter Riley executed? October 29th, 1618. <laughs> Kim, what day of the week was that? It was a Thursday. December 9th, 1995. Uh, it was a Saturday, and this year it's a Friday. Yeah. When's oh your next God. Thanksgiving? I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Strong guy. I have so many things in me that you can't even guess them all. You know that. Kim Peek has one of the weirdest brains in the world. <laughs> He's become a living Google. What Kim represents is the dark side of the moon. He is in love with knowledge for the sake of it. One T. He's a confounding mixture of disability and brilliance that neuroscientists are determined to understand. It's a very exciting opportunity for us to find out what makes the human brain unique. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, yeah, yeah. He just amazes me. The life is nothing I ever expected. I think I'd do anything for him. Kim Peek is the world's most famous savant, the inspiration for the Oscar-winning film Rain Man. Kim was diagnosed mentally retarded at birth, but with his father Fran's unflagging support, he's developed a memory that's without equal. He helps me a lot because I still have bad co coordination and because of the brain damage that I had when I was little. I wasn't supposed to make it past about 14, and here I am at 54, a celebrity. It wasn't until he was 37 years old when Dustin Hoffman met him that uh, Kim could look into someone's face. Dustin Hoffman said to me, you have to promise me one thing about this guy, share him with the world. And pretty soon, it got so that nobody was a stranger to him. They were people, and it was, it was so neat. I'll never forget the day, really, even though it was 20 years ago. Um, I was at a convention for something to do with developmental disabilities, and Kim's father, Fran, was the chairman of this committee. It was in Arlington, Texas, and suddenly someone tapped me on the shoulder. And I turned, and there was... Kim, nose to nose, and he cocked his head and he said, think about yourself, Barry Morrow. And then he wandered off across the room. Think about yourself, Barry Morrow. Think about yourself, Barry Morrow. <laughs> and so I said, oh, well, that's very nice. And then, pap, he's back in my face. And you know what, Barry? Barry says, uh, how, where did you get this guy? And I says, what do you mean? <laughs> there you go. I've never met anybody like this before, and I tend to collect characters. It's my job. Kim Peek. Sports. The rumble in the jungle. History. Somebody stole the document and put it in the library. Music. I threw every question at him that I could think of. And Barry said, you know, he's really, how does he know so much? And I said, I was finding out that he knew so much. Ray. Raymond. Yeah. Are you good with numbers? Yeah. I read about this. I'm going to try something here. What did I tell you after this? Right? After this. Ray, can we try something? Yeah. Do you know how much 312 times 123 is? 38376. He's right. What? He's right. He's right? Yeah. Ray, how much is 4,343 times 1,234? 5, 5, 9, He's a genius. He's right. He's a genius. I was absolutely flabbergasted that such a human being existed and that I had never heard of a savant. But I could not get this man, this character, out of my mind. And so I called Fran and talked to him about my scheme. 
which was to create some kind of a movie in which Kim Peek would become a character. Good morning. Coffee? Yes, that'd be good. Sally Dibs Dibs Sally. 4610-0192. How did you know my phone number? How'd you know that? You said read the telephone book last night. Dibs Sally. 4610192. He uh, remembers things, little things sometimes. Very clever, boys. I'll be right back. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? I don't know. You memorize the whole book? No. You start from the beginning? Yeah. How far did you get? G. G? G. God's sake, William Marshall. God's sake. You memorized to G? Yeah, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G. Half a G. That's good, Ray. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any scientific proof for this, that if you make a movie about somebody, they're going to come out of their shell. But I think Rain Man did more than win awards. I think it left the door open on the possibility that nobody is ever written off, that change is always possible. Rain Man changed Kim's life forever. Until I started being Rain Man, I couldn't look in a person's eyes. Barry influenced me yeah, more than any did. other person because of he made me Rain Man. I love the way he's flowered. Kim Peek! And it belies the myth that people don't change, especially people with developmental disabilities. Again, I want to thank Barry Morrow for making it all become a reality because I think most of the the opportunity for Kim change was because Barry treated him as a as a human being like Barry was, and uh, and, and Kim just moved right into it. Eighteen years ago, Barry Morrow gave his Oscar to Kim, and Fran took Dustin Hoffman's advice to share Kim with the world. The once introverted Kim has now appeared in front of more than two million people, all eager to test his genius with obscure questions. Who was the game-winning pitcher of Game 3 in the 1926 World Series? The, the Cardinals won it with Grover Cleveland Alexander. <laughs> wow, so in British history, who was the only British Prime Minister to be assassinated? His name was Percival. You remember what date it was? Kevin? I think it was sometime in the spring of 1812. Very good. <laughs> okay. For Kim, his father is everything. My dad and I share the same shadow. Wasn't yes. that funny? Yes. <laughs> like he says, we, dad and I share the same shadow. And when he said that, it profoundly struck me as, uh, maybe he can't reason, but he sure hit that one right on the button. So everything now, even on his tombstone, I have sharing the same shadow, but that became kind of, he wanted to, sh everything I could do, we tried to do together, and he wanted to be part of it. What Kim would like you to do is learn to recognize and respect differences in others and treat them like you want them to treat you. And this will give us the kind of a world we all want to live in. And so care, share, and be your best. And then Kim says, and you don't have to be handicapped to be different because everybody's different.